Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This, uh, let me get situated here. Okay, this video, everybody's been asking about the recipe, which I will show at the end. I will leave a picture, but I will tell you everything that I use. But here's the recipe. I wrote it down. But everybody's been wanting to know how I made it, okay? Now, like I said, I got the recipe off of Pinterest. The recipe in Pinterest called for ketchup and Dijon mustard. My Some of my family does not like mustard. So, I just changed it for what, the way we would... Well, since I'm the cook, how I would like it. And I knew they would eat it. So, those are the only... I, I omitted those, the ketchup and the mustard. And I added in the package of the beefy onion soup mixer. Mix. So, here is the rundown. Alright? For the way I made it. Now, remember, I used 85-15... Lean ground beef, which the recipe calls for lean ground beef. And it only made, the original recipe only made um, six patties, but that was using a, I think it was a pound, yeah, a pound and a half of the lean ground beef. You can use any beef that you, you would like. Like I said, that that's what I could find at my store. Um... Because I walked to our general store. So, but everybody wanted to know how I made it. So I figured, okay, I'll tell you. I'll do the rundown of what I used. Okay. For the patties, you'll need, um, like I said, I used 85 lean ground beef. Um, but I, that was 2 and 5 eighths pound. So you use... You use what you would like, or how many patties you would like. Um, I also weighed them out. I got on my app, and I made, you know, I looked to see about what the points were for a patty. So I weighed them out. That's how I managed to get 15. But you do, you know, whatever the, like, percentage of the fat, like, the very lean, or the 85... Whatever you like, that's what you use, okay? Then you'll need three tablespoons of milk of your choice. It could be 2%, 1%, whatever. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. My grandson had a little tumble. Um, but back to the milk. You can use, like I said, you can use any milk you want, but you need three tablespoons. And then you'll need one and one third cup of panko breadcrumbs. You crumbs. But you can use any kind you want. They make a wheat breadcrumb panko. I bought it before. I got it at Aldi's, I do believe. Um, you can use regular breadcrumbs. Um, the panko, plain French. Um, now, the recipe the, on Pinterest, it said just the egg yolk, I think it was. But I used the whole egg. I mean, I wasn't going to waste that, you know, the egg. So, I just used the whole egg. The, ah, tongue tied today. The whole egg. And then salt and pepper for taste. Okay? Then you just make those into your patties. And then you'll want to brown those up in a pan. You don't need to cook them the whole way. You just want, you know, color on both sides. And you sit them on a plate. And then, but then in your Instant Pot, you will put eight ounces of mushrooms, one half of an onion. You'll use uh, one and one half cup beef broth. But I use two cups because of as many patties as I had and with it being my first time using the Instant Pot, I didn't want them to burn. <laughs> so, but, I mean, the original recipe does call for one and one half cup. But you know what? I had no problem using two cups. So, two cups 
it's very good. Um, you'll need one ounce package of brown gravy mix. Put that in there. You'll need two tablespoons of parsley, fresh, jar, whatever. Whatever you got, it'll work. Um, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Everybody always has a problem saying that word. And that's what you, oh, and you, and then I added the one package of beef onion soup mix. Put that in your Instapot. On top of your onions and your mushrooms. And like I said, you brown your patties. Then you put the patties back in. And you put them on. Um, I cook mine for 20 minutes. Um, the original recipe said 18, but I figured I had 15 patties, so which 20 minutes work perfectly fine. So when they're done, when that's all done, you you can either let it natural release or you do a quick release. I did a quick because we were hungry and I wanted to get done. So um, so you do that. Then when that's done, you take your patties out of the Instapot. And then you take your four tablespoons of water and your two tablespoons of cornstarch. You make mix it up to a slurry. You bring your mixture you have in your Instapot, the onions, the mushrooms, all your goodness. You bring that to a boil, not, you know, to get it back to boiling. And then you add your cornstarch and water slurry, and then you mix it till it gets thickened. Then you put your patties back in to get them all covered, and you're done. You can pour them over potatoes, like I did, um, rice, um, anything that you would like. Um, but that is the recipe. That is how I made it. Um, I'm going to leave a picture at the end of this video so you can screenshot it. And you could have it for yourself. So now I have it for myself. Now, uh, the one suggestion I would make is say is, like I said, I did 15 patties for 20 minutes. If you have less patties, I would suggest maybe less time for less patties. But like I said, I had, I did 20 minutes for 15 patties. The original uh, recipe says 18 minutes, but that was for six patties. My family's bigger than that. We need more than, you know, six patties. So, um, and I use a six quart uh, Instapot, and that's what it, well, it says equipment you need. But I'm sure if you're only making six patties, any size would work. Um, but this is the way I made it, and it was fabulous. The patties were so tender. They were delicious. They were more, I enjoyed them more in the Instapot than I did in the Crock-Pot. The Crock-Pot, they were, I think one of the problem was I overcooked them in the pan. But they is much faster in the Instapot. So, and I've used my Instapot a few times now. So, um, but this is the recipe. A lot of people, like I said, has asked for it. And I figure I just come on here, give you the recipe, and if you have any more questions about this recipe, just leave me a message in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you. I hope this helps, and I'll see you in, in the next one. And my grandson wants to say hi. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye.